Okay, Shelby, um, we're going to be making out checks here, okay? And then we're going to do some deposit slips. Okay, make up a check for the payment. Now, um, we have to pay $400 to REA Inc. for rent. Check 245 Now, here's your check blanks that I gave to you. You need to cross that number out, and you need to put your number 245. So I put 245, 245. Now, use today's date. Okay, today's date is 11, 15, 2018. So you put... 11, 15, 18. Don't worry about that 19. Those are old. That's an old date. Okay, now pay to the order of, write out who you're paying it to. REA Inc. So, R-E-A Inc. Now, here you write how much it's for, $400. You write the numbers, 400.00, okay? Now, here's what you do after that. You write this in words. So, four, F-O-U-R, 100, H-U-N-D-R-E-D, don't write dollars, then the decimal you write and, A-N-D, zero, zero, and you always put it over 100 because there's 100 cents and a dollar, okay? It'll always go that way. Now, you put your name, and you would write Shelby Struthers, and we're not going to worry about the memo because I really don't. Oh, it's for rent. If it says what it's for, write rent. Okay. And that's your check. Okay, now the next one we're paying $65 to Verizon Wireless. That's check number 246. So I cross this out. And I put 246. Just put, two, sorry, put it on the check. 246. Okay, the date again is 11, 15, 18. And then pay to the order of Verizon Wireless. Okay, now the money amount is $65. So it's 65.00. Okay, so here I write in word form 60, S-I-X-T-Y, dash, 5, F-I-V-E, and 0, 0, over 100, okay? Now, put your name. Your full name, okay? And it doesn't say what it's for, so just put N-A. It'd probably be your phone bill, but I don't know that for sure, okay? N-A. Not available is what that means. I don't know. Okay. Now. Again, put the check number. It's important to know you, your check number. 247, so Two, four, seven. And um, the date again, we want to use today's date, 11, 15, 18. Okay, Alliant Energy. Okay. Now you you got to put the number the how much it's for so thirty five dollars and fifty nine cents okay then you write it in words thirty 
T H I R T Y dash five F I V E and now this time you have fifty nine cents, so it's fifty nine over a hundred. Okay, and then put your name. Now, here's what you're going to do right now. You're going to pause this video, pause the video, and you need to do this. Checks one, two, three, four, and use the same packet here, okay? So just do number one on this one. Turn the page. I got a ton of checks. You're not going to do fill them all out, though. Number two, number three, and number four. Okay. Pause the video now. Okay. After you get those done, and I got something else for you to do. Now, stay on this paper, and we're going to learn how to make a deposit slip. So turn the page. And this is where your deposit slips are at. Now, why do you need to know how to make a deposit slip? Okay, write this. I want you to write this here so you understand why you're doing what you're doing. Deposit slip. What's it used for? I use it when... I am working for someone and I need to deposit, no, I need to take money to the bank. Let me think here. I use it when I'm working for someone and I need to take money to the bank for, not for myself, the people I work for. Okay, I'm gonna give you a second to get that down. I'll read it again, hopefully the closed caption. Deposit slip. I use it when I am working for someone and I need to take money to the bank for the people I work for. Okay, now at Pizza Ranch, your people will take money to the account. They need to know how to make a deposit slip. It's really easy to do, okay? The date, use today's date, 11, 15, and let's go again, 18, 2018. Name put Shelby Struthers, and the account number, don't worry about that, okay? You put your own, you put the account number of the place, usually that's stamped on the thing most times. Now, you're taking this to the bank, so what you do is circle your checks and your cash. You put $35 for the cash. And also, there's another thing I want you to do. I want you to cross this out because I would not get to take money for myself, okay? Because I that's the my place. That's the people I work for is money, not mine. I, that would be stealing if I took it to, for myself, okay? All right, so check for forty for thirty five dollars in cash, and then my check is forty nine dollars and fifty cents. Okay, then your subtotal. You just add these together. Plus, I'm thirty five plus forty nine point fifty. That's $84.50.
forget this, and then you just drop the 8450 down, okay? Because you, you don't want to take any cash out for yourself. You're working for somebody. Okay, now for my next one. These are your checks. Now there's more of them and $40 in cash. So, date 11, 15, 18, Shelby Struthers. I don't need that. So my cash is $40. Now your checks, you can write them individually, That, but... If you're working at a place where, like at Pizza Ranch, where you might have like 25 checks, you can't, you don't have enough room to write all 25 checks. So I would suggest what would be best for you is you to just add all the checks together and put the total of the checks right there. So 259.54 plus 34.59. Plus fifteen point seven six, three hundred nine dollars and eighty nine cents. So that's your check three oh nine eighty nine. Okay, now I go to my subtotal. So forty plus three oh nine point eight nine is three forty nine eighty nine. Okay, less cash, no, and then three forty nine eighty nine. Okay, now on your assignment, now now go to your assignment, and you're gonna do. By the way, six seven eight nine. Cross out this to myself. Thing. Okay, and this is where you're gonna you're gonna turn the page, and this will be where you do number six, number seven. number eight, and number nine. Okay? Now, that's all I need you to do for today, but I want you to keep this, okay? Because there's another thing we need to do in it.